And here we go! Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! When we last left off, it was a brand new day, full of excitement and adventure. What will happen? Hey, sleepyhead! Something I want to give you. Whoa! You're giving this? To me? Yeah, use it well. That's the sword you gave Chapu. We got a well, sword! You never used it. Where's Yuna? We're taking the same boat as Yuna, right? Why do we gotta wait here? Yuna came to this village ten years ago, when the last calm started. The calm? Since then, she's been like a little sister to me and Lulu. But she had the talent. She became an apprentice. Now, today, she leaves as a summoner. This is our journey. We should leave together. You really don't need all that luggage. Ah, uh, they're not really my things. Th they're gifts for the temples we're to visit. This isn't a vacation, Yuna. I guess... I guess you're right. Okay, off we go. And she leaves the bag behind. Not even gonna put it away or anything like that. Of course, I probably don't have time to go back, unpack, and put all of it away, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we're not entirely done here. I remember I said we'd be coming back to the tailor shop. Well, let's do that now. First thing we need to do is stop by this lady. Stop by the item shop, see how we are for, excuse me, for stuff. Good there. Come back soon. You know, a funny thing happened. My dog, la 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 la. Okay, that's the message you're looking for. When you come back here and you talk to the shop owner, when you go to leave, uh, she'll tell you that her dog found something. So, what we do is we go here to the tailors. At least I believe this is the tailors. Yes, it is. And here's the dog. He's got something in his mouth. And you get attained a something covered in slobbery spit. And for that, we get a new overdrive for Valifor. The energy blast. You're going to want that. Uh, it's not essential to beating the game. I actually never got it until my last playthrough, like a year ago, and I've been playing this since like the fifth grade, so you don't need it, but it is very nice to have. Um, battle! Here comes one now. Hey, why don't you try out that sword I gave you? Okay, so here we go again, more our tutorial. Okay, so up till now, every enemy we face could be dealt with by anyone in any way we wanted. Now we're going to see where the strategy in this comes in. Waka's specialty is dealing with flying enemies. If you try to attack a flying enemy with, say, Titus, then it's not going to work. Uh, odds are they'll just dodge. Anyway, some emulation business. Um, I fixed the fact that Titus was invisible. Uh, if you're playing on PCSX2, uh, first things first, you should also, you should be playing on version 1.2.1, as I've said in many descriptions. Um, also, you'll want to set your EE rounding mode to uh, negative and your clamping mode to full. So that should fix uh, the graphical bugs with characters either being invisible or facing the wrong way in this game. Okay, so here we have an evil scoop of jello. Let's try hitting it. 51. Told you. Only magic can beat that thing. If you can't beat them down, you gotta use magic of an element they don't like. Magic? Element? 
Let's have our black mage show you what I mean. That's racist. Lou, you're up. Clueless, aren't you? Good thing I'm here. She's not even black. Spells of ice work well against fire fiends. And ice fiends are weak against fire magic. You follow? I get fire and ice, but what about lightning and water? Lightning and water are opposed, just like fire and ice. This one here is a water fiend, which means... Okay, so we use our black magic. So that's a water fiend, so we use thunder. Zap. If an enemy is weak to a spell, it'll do 50% more damage. So use weak spells. Or use spell use weaknesses. Uh, same goes with um, attacks that have elements attached to them. We'll get more into that later. Uh, we don't have any elemental weapons yet. Take your time. Let's get going, man. We're gonna wait. Huh? Are you ready? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, we're coming up on something of very, very small importance. It's an ancient custom. People leaving the island pray here for a safe trip. Chapu didn't pray that day. Said he'd miss his boat. There are two opportunities to pray. Um, and they'll determine which of the three female characters will be most attached to you and will appear in certain cutscenes. So we're going to pray at this one. That should do it. I believe praying once will um, make Lulu your person that you talk to. I hope that's what I'm aiming for. Um, twice will be Yuna and none is Riku. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. We'll find out as we go along. I'm not going to pray at the other one. Who is this? We saw this guy earlier. He wants to fight. This is one of Yuna's guardians. It doesn't... Why? Who? Um... I never understood this fight. It came out of nowhere. Ow. Okay. Let's just hit him. Dang. Ow. Again. Just gonna beat each other senseless. There's nothing to this fight. His overdrive? Jump. Ow. A lot of ow. Alright, let's heal up. Uh, we can't use our overdrive just yet. We keep fighting. Uh, uh, we can use it. No, let's let's save our overdrive. One more hit ought to do it, or not? One more. Okay. That's enough. Nah, what's with that guy? Kimari Ronso, of the Ronso tribe. He's learned the fiend's way of fighting. That's not what I meant. He's another Yuna's guardians. Huh? <laughs> Sometimes we don't understand him either. Kimari doesn't talk much anyway. Mm. But he has protected me since I was a child. Hmm. Huh. Get our measly XP, and we also get a ball. So, let's equip that to Waka. Equip. 
Waka. Here's your equip screen. I shouldn't have to explain it. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's heal Titus. So we'll go into Yuna. It's like cure. Oh, we got our health back. Sweet. That's nice of them, considering that fight is going to ruin your health. Oh well. Uh, proceed on to the next area. <laughs> 